Lubaba TV. Hello, welcome again, and this is Baba TV. And today is another good day that God has granted to us so as to meet here where we share different things concerning agriculture. And today topic, I have prepared something very interesting to pig farmers. And I have done it intentionally because I have got a lot of questions from many people asking how can they grow pig in a business manner? How can they do a business pig farming? So I have took some time to prepare this subject which will be gone by the name of business pig farming. Today is the first episode and I want to talk about a retro thing but very important because with, without this all your activity, all your farming activity won't be good or won't succeed. And today I just want to talk on which are the kind of pig breeds than one that that one can use in pig in business pig farming. I mean, which kind of breed facilitate the business pig farming? Simply a best pig breed for business pig farming. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And even if you are just not new here, but you have not yet subscribed, consider doing it. But also it's better to hit the bell so as to be updated whenever we put new updates in our channel. Before I go direct to what are the best pig breeds to farm, let's have a look on important things that you have to take care or you must know and consider when you want to select or you want to choose a breed to keep. And this will simply help and simplify your activity when you want to adopt a certain pig breed. because. When you know these important things, it will just direct guide you to what kind you should choose. One thing you should consider is knowing your market. When you know your market, it is very important because it will help you to know what kind of pig breed you should keep. These pig breeds differ from the characteristic. When you take a large white and when you take a runway, they are very quite different in some characteristics. For example, a large white is a kind of pig which it's me, it's pork. It's known by not having high amount of fats. So when your market needs the pork which has amount of high amount of fats, this large white it might not be suitable for you. Then you might use landress instead. That is that's an, an example to make you easily know how it's that is this going hand to hand with the kind of pig breed you should choose when you know your market it will help you choose the best breed for your market that is very important for the first time and second thing that might help you when finding the best and suitable breed to keep you might you might use interbreeding method so as to get a breed or a pig which a farmer needs mostly because you might take a large white boa and a rounded soul and when you interbreed them you will get a one pig which has the both characteristic that means it it's piglet will be much superior compared to the parents and this can improve the on the breed that you will have and another thing which is also important and one should know or pig farmers should know is better to start keeping a pig which has not yet reached to the high age and it's most advised that when you want to find a new pig to keep you might find a piglet with three months to four this is very good because when a piglet is still young it's very easy for you to control it to give it what you need to make it as you wish to know if it has problems and to solve any problem which exists to them. Different with buying a very big pig because a very big pig already is created with different characteristics and different environment. It's grown in different environment. So whenever it comes in your head, I mean in your unit, it's a new pig. And when it's deep, it has a high edge, it will be difficult to train it. 
even when you need to know its characteristics it's already it will be already too late but when you, you buy a young one it will be easy to monitor and easy to know the characteristic and to shape the way you need to keep it that is very important additional thing is that there are a lot of pig breed in the world there are very 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 many pig breeds within this continent and within this world so you it's very difficult for you to keep all those kinds of pig breeds so you are the pig farmer it's very important to know what breed or what kind of pig breeds is doing better within your regions because these breeds value from the geographical areas and value from the characteristic so there are some breeds which can be doing better in cold areas and some breeds which can be doing better in hot areas you as a pig farmer or you as a new pig farmer you must consider this for example let's take an example here in tanzania when a pig is grown in Dysram and when a pig is grown in Mbea these pigs are very different in even in their growing rate and their feed intakes because of the environment and different things so because in Mbea it's very cold so when the pig breed doesn't do better in cold areas it will be a challenge to eat and they might not be doing better so there are a lot of there are some pig breeds who, which are doing better here in Tanzania and Africa in large and I just mentioned them in few I won't say it's characteristic I will find the time and episode to speak on every pig characteristic within its separated time and episode but today I just want to mention them faster so as you as a pig farmer to just be highlighted or not are the what are the pig breeds which are doing better here in Tanzania, East Africa and Africa at large. And the last episode I've already talked on large white and if you have not yet watched it at the end of this video I have attached the vid, the video of what I talked in the last episode so you must you will know much about a large white. That and that is the one among the best breed which is believed to be the best breed here in Tanzania, Africa and the world. And another pig breed which is doing better and which is must is very good to keep is the saddleback. And another one is the landrace. And one another pig breed which is is also good is the duroc. Also this is one another kind of pig breed which is adapted with many people and is believed to do better. We might share what are the pig breeds which are doing better at your area. You might comment there or you must ask anything through a comment and within a required time we will answer you. Hope you have got another thing and thing that you didn't know and you have got to be educated. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so as to be our family member but also Share to your friend and, and family so as also to learn and know many things. I'm Imani Lubaba and this is Baba TV. Thank you.